Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to this moment. <laughs> welcome to the here and the now. I want to welcome you to the most high moment of your life. Today I'm going to be answering the question, is the moment that I'm experiencing right now a product of the linear mind? Now, the answer for most of you is yes. Most of you are experiencing this moment through the lens of a past mind. This is the reason why stress, fear, anxiety, worry, and all these kinds of emotions exist within the human population to such a high degree. Uh, and the it's going on because your past mind is this mind that is uh, basically bringing in a bunch of information and projecting it towards the future. The mind says, this is what is true. This is my experience. This is what is real. This is who I am. But what if I told you that that is not what you are or who you are at all, but instead it's just a memory that your mind is translating as truth. For instance, if you and a friend go see a movie, now I know right now because of COVID-19, no one's going to see movies. That might be changing soon, though. If you go see a movie, you let's say there's three friends who go see a movie, you walk away from that movie, you happen to enjoy the movie. You're like, hell yeah, this movie was amazing. Another friend says, it was okay. I'd give it a five out of 10. Another friend says, no, I hated it. I slept through it. It was awful. It was horrible acting. And you start scratching your head. You start saying, I wonder if they were even watching the same movie I was watching. The truth is they were watching the same movie. Their past mind is what brings them into this moment. And they are now making uh, judgments based on their past, what they've experienced, the information that they've accumulated, the knowledge they've accumulated, the way that they were raised, their friends and the influences that are, that are uh, affecting or impacting their life. That is... All that information is being taken in by this beautiful computer that is this brain and the avatar, and it's spitting out, this is how I feel. And so your friend walks away and says, man, I had a horrible experience. It was just awful. You walk away saying, I had a great experience. The movie was great. The truth is, the movie was neither great nor awful. That was just your experience of it. Now, you go on presenting that this movie is great as a truth. And you present it to another friend. That friend goes and watches the movie. And they don't like the movie. They walk away from the movie saying, that movie was awful. She lied to me. You didn't lie. You had a different experience. Your experience based upon the information that you brought in or the story, the narrative that you're believing about yourself said that that movie was good. Her experience based on all the memories and the things that she's experienced and the information she's brought in says it's bad. You didn't lie. Your truth... Was a little bit different than her truth and so is it truth at all if it can vary from person to person and the, the truth is that no it's not truth it is perceptional reality it is a perceptional truth in other words it was your perception you might watch that same movie years later and not like that movie so your perceptions do shift and change it's called impermanence everything in this beautiful playground at all including all of your perceptions will shift and change uh, in time and outside of time. Time is just one way that we are observing everything. Now, the higher you, your body and mind becomes in the reality and the realization of what you truly are, the less time is significant. As a matter of fact, you enter into what I call the timeless mind. And when you begin to enter into the timeless mind, you begin to experience what is also referred to as the timeless body. In other words, the avatar that you are animating begins to experience an eternal bliss, an eternal reality that is much higher than this linear mind and the linear reality that you are living in presently, probably. So how do you know if you're living in the past mind? I'd ask you this question. Are you making judgments? Have you sat here right now while you're watching this movie and made judgments uh, while you're watching this video, made judgments about the video? He did not know what he's talking about, or this is what I believe is true, or, or maybe this is great. All of those are kind of judgments that you're making based on past mind. What if instead of making those judgments, you could just enjoy the moment, sit in it, sit with it, and allow the information that I'm bringing to you right now, allow this revelation that I'm bringing to you right now just to be absorbed, 
and your mind and body could be used as this beautiful tool to kick out what you're not going to enjoy and to be able to kind of sink into what you liked and what you do want to enjoy without making any judgments. You can walk away and the only judgment you have is, wow, this is a great moment. This is an awesome moment. What a perfect place to be. I don't know how I stumbled across this video, but I think it's pretty cool. Or I don't know how I stumbled across the video. I don't necessarily agree with all of it, but hey, it's awesome. Here's the deal. That's all past mind and projection. The timeless mind and the timeless body, this timeless avatar that you were originally intended to animate and experience all kinds of beauty and experience the high that I talk about awakening in you right now. This avatar is meant to be a timeless ex uh uh, experience. In other words, it is meant to be animated in a timeless way. And when the mind, the timeless mind is no longer projecting because it's no longer bringing in information and translating it to, in the need to project, instead, it is simply touching the moment deeply. That's the goal of mindfulness. Mindfulness is the art of getting high, of being high, of staying high, and of touching this moment deeply. Now the truth is, in the realization of what you are, in that moment of enlightenment, instant enlightenment, you realize that who you've always been, you've always been, and you could never become what you've always been. That's when instant enlightenment hits you. But in that moment of instant enlightenment, whether it will always come in an instant, in this very moment, right now, it can happen for you. And so in that moment, what you begin to realize is, holy shit, I've always been super high. This body and mind has always been whatever it is. And I can make that body feel however it feels. I can make it feel crappy. I can make it feel really good based upon the thoughts and the judgments that I allow the mind to make. If you're living in past mind, you will always be like this. You're always going to kind of live in a roller coaster or an up and down existence. The Bible would say like a, a wave tossed to and fro, back and forth. But in the reality of what and who you truly are, you are consistently just enjoying a beautiful journey. It is a beautiful journey of moments unfolding into moments and blooming into moments and blooming into moments. And it is continually and perpetually high and feels absolutely lovely. Now, a couple practical things that you can begin to do right now other than just observe thoughts. If you haven't already, check out these videos on observation of thoughts and awareness. It's so important for you to begin to practice those things. But there are a couple other things that you can begin to do right now to begin to step into the present mind, into the, the timeless mind, and that is this. As you breathe, get in touch with your senses. Sensuality is a beautiful and amazing thing. Just touch your body right now. Touch your face, touch your hand, touch your body. But as you do it, focus all of your attention on it. Hmm. Be in that touch. Now, as you're touching the body, you're here. Your mind and body are present in this touch. This is one very simple, 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 simple way to bring the mind into the present moment. I remember there's so many, I can walk outside, the wind can hit me, and I just lose lose my shit in some, in some sort of crazy ecstasy because the wind and the sensation of the wind upon my skin just moves this body and mind. The truth of the matter is I'm allowing that to take place. I can also walk out there and just experience it as a cool sensation or miss the fact that it, the wind's blowing at all and not even notice the breeze because my mind is elsewhere. We don't want the mind to be elsewhere. We want to open up and touch this moment in the most intoxicating way possible. And so if you are interested in doing this, I want you to first of all, again, learn to observe thoughts, videos over here, but also get in touch with the senses. What is going on in this moment? And every time your mind makes a judgment, realize this. This is the part two practical thing to do. Realize this. That is past mind. So instead of following that judgment, step back into awareness and observe it. Just become aware that the mind made a judgment. But what I am is not in agreement with that because what I am is a present awareness. So I don't have to follow that judgment. I don't have to feel the, the, the feels and the emotions that are the result of that judgment, whether good or, or bad. Instead, I can just sit here in present awareness, observe it, and let it go. Come back to my, come back to touch, come back to the smells, come back to the moment you're in. Smell 
the fragrance of your, your girlfriend's hair or the friends you have around you or the sun on your skin or the wind blowing through your hair. Feel it and come back to that moment. Those are two practical steps to touching this moment more deeply. If you have questions or comments, please drop them below. I love you so much. Uh, check out the video that's coming next. It's going to empower you. It's going to equip you. It's going to encourage you on your spiritual journey. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.